Hey, Shelly from Best Buy Canada's blog, and this past week I've been testing out and making some great rice in three different rice cookers. Tested out two Tiger rice cookers, the JBV S10U and the JAX R10U, and I also tested out the Zoji Rushi rice cooker. The Tiger rice cookers are pretty similar. They both make five and a half cups of rice. Uh, they both have 10 functions and they both have a keep warm feature. They also both have a Tayo cook plate. The Zoji Rushi rice cooker is a smaller rice cooker. It's three cups, so it's still big enough for family sized rice. This rice cooker has several preset functions as well and it makes quinoa porridge as well as different kinds of rice. I used the Zoji Rushi rice cooker a few times and it makes perfect rice every time. I was a little surprised at how long it takes to make rice in the rice cooker. It was about 60 minutes with five minutes of preheating, but the rice turned out perfect. And the biggest lure of a small appliance like that is that you can put everything in the bowl and essentially forget about it until it beeps and tells you that your rice is finished. The bowl pops out for easy cleanup and it comes with a paddle that you can use to stir your rice. I was really interested in the multi-purpose functions of the Tiger rice cookers, so to test them out I used the the multifunctional plate. It's called the Tayo cook plate and that plate lets you cook a dish on top of the rice cooker and a dish on and you make rice on the bottom. Here's a look at the menu on the Tiger rice cooker. The both menus of both rice cookers are very similar. You just scroll through the menu to choose what you'd like to cook. To get started making uh, multiple dishes at one time, I added rice to the rice bowl on the bottom. You can use the included measuring cup to measure out your rice and your water, and you can just give it a stir with the included paddle. Next, I added meatballs to the top of the rice cooker. These meatballs were already pre-cooked, so they were frozen at the time, but um, I wasn't concerned with um, them really cooking other than reheating. I added the sauce, and I closed the lid on the rice cooker and chose the synchro cook menu. This model of Tiger rice cooker requires that you put a vent on the top when you're using the synchro cook or steam function, so I added the vent. The other Tiger rice cooker has a built-in vent. Pressed the synchro cooking menu the, um, and press start. The timer didn't change or anything, but it did begin preheating and uh, it started to cook. And I could tell that by the start light being on. Here's a look at the difference in the steam vents between the two Tiger models. As you can see, one is built in and the other is added. And when you're not using that function, you can just close the lid on it. When there was 10 minutes left in the cook time, the menu changed and uh, it told me there was 10 minutes left. So once it was finished, the keep warm function kicked in and I came over and took a look at my meatballs. To cook, the rice cooker will use the steam from the rice and it will funnel itself into the upper plate. So my meatballs were perfectly done. I noticed I got a little bit of sauce on the funnel that would um, where the steam is emitted. So some of the liquid did drip down into the bowl, but as long as you uh, make sure that you avoid that um, funnel, you won't have the same issue that I did. And also never use a fork on a non-stick surface like this rice cooker. I didn't actually touch the inside of the bowl with the fork. I just was fluffing the rice around a bit to check how well it was done. Here's a look at my finished product. As you can see, everything is steaming hot and ready to serve. All three of these rice cookers were really easy to use and I appreciate the multi-function of the Tiger rice cookers with the tile cook plate. That's it for my look at these three great rice cookers. You can see my full written review as well as other photos on Best Buy Canada's blog. Thanks for watching.